Well, for those of you who do not know, my dog, Lucy, had 13 puppies on Saturday, September 21st. So, it all started at around 7.45 p.m. on September 21st. Me and my dad were recording a fishing video that we did later decided to cancel because we had gotten a call from my mom saying that our dog had had three puppies. She had had three puppies, but then... By the time I went to sleep, she had had six puppies. By the time th my parents went back out there, she had had eight puppies. And then when I woke up in the morning, I woke up to 13 puppies. So then that day, we went up to... A place to eat some food and then we went to go get some puppy food because we knew our dog Lucy would not be able to feed all of these 13 puppies just by herself so we had to get the puppies some colostrum and some milk replacer so then <clears throat> we did and we brought it back and we fed them. We fed them. And then it was the next day. Well, Sunday, one day, one puppy had died. We don't know why. But then Monday, it started to pour down rain when I was leaving school at about 3.20. And I was about five minutes away from home. So then we had to get home and we knew that we had to get the puppies into the shop. So what we did was we went outside, me and my brother Adam, quickly we got a shoe box and a chip box to go get the puppies and put them in. Our dog Lucy was covering them to make sure that they would not get too cold. Then we put them in the shoe and chip box and then we waited for our dad to get home, who was about five minutes away, and then we took them to the shop. We started to give them some food, and we put a heat lamp on them. And then, September 26th, we went to bed, and at about 1.30, the power went off on Friday, September 27th, at 1.30 a.m., be and this was because of Hurricane Helene. So, we had our generator ready to put on, and then we put it on, and we were able to sleep downstairs and have some fans running. I woke up around 9. This grill right here had fallen and collapsed, and that's what we woke up to. But then we saw that the shop was tore up and we had to go get the puppies out of there and I woke up to whimpering sounds of my puppies. They were so cold and six of them were dead. My mom started to warm them up and we knew that it was going to be a while based off the damage that was done to our community and around the people before we got power back. So then that night, my mom went to sleep with the puppies and Lucy. Lucy was super sick and she had mastitis where her udders were bad and we thought Lucy was on the verge of dying too. Then, she survived, and she is still alive, but one of the puppies died that night. Then, it was a Monday, October 14th. We had had power back, and the puppies were in the basement. And one puppy looked like it was dying. And it did die 
my grandma came to come pick up Adam, and they took it to the vet. And then about 7 p.m., we got a call saying that the puppy was dead, and that leaves us with four puppies. Now, if this video hasn't made you sad enough already, it's time to go show you the puppies and show you how cute they are. There are still four left to this day, and they are now six weeks and five days old. Here are the puppies. Hey, little guys. Goodness! Whoops! Get off me! Get off me! Okay, guys, I get you excited. Hey, guys, come on. Come here, puppies. Come on. Mm. We're such good puppies. guys want to come with me, huh? It's getting it stairs practice. puppies we will we will ask for prices for the black ones around 600 to 650 dollars and the chocolate one from 800 to a thousand dollars now if you're interested in those prices go ahead and try and buy one of these puppies if you're interested in one of them now it's time to say goodbye but let's go say one more goodbye to these puppies. Can you do the outro for us, puppies? Well, if you're interested in buying one of them, go ahead, buy one of them. And that's it for today's video. Now, if you wanna go watch another video, click right here to go see another video. Goodbye.